Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Light, and today we're going to be talking about the brand new ZK Sync mainnet known as Era, which just got launched two days ago. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to basically bridge your assets to Era and also how to get your old ZK Sync money as well. And lastly, we're going to be touching upon on the airdrop potential of ZK Sync and also its ecosystem. So currently we are in the baby alpha phase. So there has been a couple of um, different, you know, you know, milestones reached in terms of the ZK sync. There has been testing, obviously. The mainnet has been around for quite some time now. So this is quite an old project. And finally, they are kind of now in the baby alpha where they have launched their own chain now. And there's going to be multiple different steps, obviously, in the future, including developer and user experience improvements and obviously decentralization, which probably means that they are going to be launching a token or whatever that is going to be airdrop or sold remains to be seen. But I think it's fair to assess that they are going to be doing some type of a launch. So a lot of airdrop hunters have basically been very keen on interacting with ZK Sync for a very long time. We obviously don't know the criteria. We can only uh, guess what they are going to be, but we're going to be able to talk about a bit of those later down the video. Now, obviously, some of you have already used ZK Sync before because you are airdrop hunters or you have, you know, uh, touched into some of the privacy features, obviously, that ZK Sync has to offer. So um, we need to obviously get our money back from the old ZK Sync um, Lite, which was known as the ZK Sync version one. So you're going to be needing a MetaMask, obviously, and we're going to be using Ethereum wallet here. Oh, sorry, MetaMask wallet to basically log in. And here we have now our balances. Now, in terms of the zigzag token, um, ZZ also known as, uh, basically, this is a token that you are not able to, you are able to withdraw it from the old system, but you're not able to basically deposit currently into the new ZK Sync era mainnet. So that's a very key important distinction to be made here, that you don't necessarily want to uh, withdraw your ZZ, maybe you want to trade it into Ethereum, or maybe there might be some liquidity in the Ethereum mainnet on Uniswap, for example, or some exchanges where you can trade it. But right Right now, in case you're really wanting to trade ZZ on the era main, that is not possible because you're not able to uh, withdraw it. So I'm going to be uh, withdrawing my Ethereum and USDC out from this system. We're going to be used, choosing transfer and I'm going to be copying my own address here. Uh, again, and we're going to be pasting that here, and I'm going to be putting the max amount. You will be needing Ethereum, so um, withdraw your tokens first, and then we're going to be approving this. and. There's going to be um, some type of $3 fee, maybe, um, in terms of, uh, you know, basically sending it back. And once the transaction has confirmed, it will take some time to basically get obviously bridged out. We're not going to be using the same USDC to uh, deposit into the new era mainnet. So I'm gonna just going to be doing that with Ethereum. So it had a fee in the USDC. Um, and now we're going to be withdrawing our Ethereum. The same thing, transfer, pasting the address again max amount because I'm not going to be leaving. Currently, there seems to be a bit of a um, problem to basically withdraw the NFTs. You might want to withdraw them, I, I think, because uh, there might be some value to these ideas, but uh, I'm not quite sure do you, we could actually withdraw this just in case. Um, there might, I had a bit of an issue earlier, but um, but let's, let's just do it just for the case, sake of it. I'm going to be withdrawing that NFT and let's see if we can uh, basically uh, get it, get it back into the uh, era mainnet afterwards. But let's um, go back to home, and then we're gonna be interacting with Ethereum. And I'm gonna be putting max amount here, pasting again. Um, let's remove a couple of numbers here so we can afford. Uh, let's put four. That should be okay. There we go. And now we're gonna be sign, and then there's gonna be another. Uh, accepting sign after this, I presume, or we maybe don't need to do that because I already did that before. And after this has gone through, the Ethereum will move into our Ethereum mainnet. And then we basically have gotten our money from the ZK Sync Lite, which is the old version. And I don't know what is there going to be. Are they going to be totally um, removing the usage of this or whatever? But now I can um, rest the shore and move, move into our next step. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be bridging Ethereum into from the Ethereum mainnet into the ZK Sync era. And there are a couple of tokens that you can basically do here. 
uh, perp mute combo. Mute is basically the uh, AMM exchange right now in ZK Sync. Um, I, I bought a little of it, I'm not, I'm not, not financial advice. And I'm gonna be posting um, 0.1 Ethereum. I mean, there might be certain types of uh, requirements for the ZK Sync that if you didn't deposit this much, you may not be eligible for the airdrop. Just as to saying that if you put like $5 in and deposit that, that's not gonna be uh, a good criteria necessarily for eligibility. And this is gonna be costing right now in the current gas fees around four bucks to basically deposit, which is not actually that much, uh, given how certain other bridges basically uh, can cost. And this is relatively fast, at least on my uh, first try. And it's pretty simple and then uh, this is going to be obviously taking a while. Let's see. Okay, there, there it has gone. Uh, we can see the transaction happening on Etherscan here. It has approved and it was $3.74 as of right now with the gas price of 17 GUE. And now, um, basically, the uh, transaction has gone through. And this is a mute app. We're going to be showing you this. This is an example. And here we can see, actually, we are on the wrong disconnecting all wallets confirm and we're gonna refresh here and we're gonna connect with our metamask changing the zk sync error mainnet here and it will prompt out automatically for you to connect into the zk sync mainnet obviously it should be available on chainlist.org and right now um the ethereum hasn't gone through yet it should take some time um Apparently, this transaction didn't go through because we had another withdrawal going here. So let me just be sure about that. Uh, let's save it. There we go. I'm going to have to go back to the main end here again. It's always important that if certain like old chains and test nets become deprecated, like for example with Aztec right now, um, a lot of people are withdrawing the money from there. So you, do, you don't wanna leave your money hanging around. Um, yeah, okay, this has already gone through, good. So let's go back into where were we? Um, the mute, mute uh, application, so. And it would show automatically basically ask you to change to the main net. And it will take some time. In the meanwhile, we can look into the actual um, the ecosystem. So there are a couple of applications that are currently online on ERA. So there's a lot of things, obviously, top of the ZK, ZK Sync ecosystem. So a lot of different dApps. Okay. And only a couple of them are currently live on ERA. So, for example, we have Seller, which I believe is a bridge system. We have Tofu, which is an NFT marketplace. Uh, we have Block Wallet. We have Onto Wallet. Uh, we have a multi-chain, which is another bridge. Orbiter Finance, I believe, is another bridge. Uh, Mute, as we already tested about, um, that is a swapping site. Then we have SyncSwap, I believe this is another one. Uh, another one, AMM. And this, by the way, is this one doesn't actually have um, a token yet, as uh, far as I know. So this is another one that you might want to interact with and maybe provide some liquidity because there's going to be obviously multiple drops. And even if these... Okay, right now we already have the tokens on, on, on. That's pretty nice. So pretty fast in terms of like bridging the money in. And there's not really much, much going on here. I'm going to be just um, wrapping out, I guess, some, some token here, some tokens here. And obviously the amount of transactions they probably do on the main net is obviously going to be uh, another uh, calculator. I have to say that the gas fees tend to be kind of high on this chain, so it's probably around $1.5 to make a swap on these AMMs. And then there's a like um, DeFi option here with Rhino, uh, MESS protocol, I'm not sure, not sure what these are, but we, I guess we could watch. So there are a lot of applications in the works and being made right now. And then there is the um, ZK Apes, and this is the very first NFT collection on ZK uh, Zinc right now. Um, right now, I think there's some type of public sale. Uh, we can connect our wallet here with MetaMask and maybe maybe worth it, I don't know. Um, it's kind of expensive though with the current um, prices and everything, but um, you know, 
I don't actually like the art. I think it's kind of kind of blurry, to be honest. But um, you know, I don't know if this is like run by the official team or anything. But at least they're being promoted on the main website. So there are a couple of applications that you can interact with right now on the zk sync um, mainnet, and you should probably do that. And obviously, there's like a layer of uh, security attached to these. Like, let's see actually our transaction here, for example, like what type of a data is being being distributed here like are we okay it's not even it's verifying so I, I don't know if there's like what is the privacy level here uh, in terms of like the actual zk sync era mainnet there might not be any or maybe some but um that's basically how it's done and there's going to be a lot of boom regarding zk sync in the future i bet i think it's going to be a competitor alongside with arbitrum and optimism it depends what how much like you know total value lock they're going to be having and how is the token launch going to be happening but it, it's going to be at least in the privacy style of things it's going to be a, like a major competitor and probably the most known privacy uh, protocol known in the EVM system at least but we have to see how it will turn out and um, you know basically well I don't really have much as to add here guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe if you have any questions about ZK Sync let me know in the comment section below and I will be seeing you next time on the next video cheers